It's now time for the Friday panel and joining me this week is my great mate and Today FM breakfast co-host Dave Husey Hughes and ACT opposition leader Elizabeth Lee. Great to see you both. Thank you for having us. It's great to be seen. <laughs> oh, he's off, off with the jokes already. Now, an article in the Sydney Morning Herald today reported that Gen Z has been hit the hardest in the cost of living crisis and they're particularly struggling to save for a house as the cost of rent, groceries, etc. skyrockets. Elizabeth, this is a national crisis for everyone. Do you see the government providing any relief at all, particularly in May's budget? You know, one of the first things that um, the government could start with is by the Prime Minister actually keeping the election promise uh, that he made uh, several times, many, many times throughout the campaign, and that is to slash electricity prices by $275. And in fact, not only has he not kept that promise, but we know that everything is going up. And I think in Canberra, uh, you know, we sort of get forgotten because, you know, uh, compared to the rest of Australia, we're fairly uh, affluent. But let's not forget that we've got almost 40,000 people living in poverty, including 9,000 children. And I have spent, especially over the last couple of years, uh, trying to get action from the local government because whilst, of course, this is a national crisis, governments at all levels have a role to play in ensuring that cost of living is a priority uh, to ensure our community, especially those who are in the vulnerable category, are looked after. Husey, we do a breakfast radio show and we give away, this morning, $10,000, but we also give away $100 and the reaction is almost the same because small amounts of money mean so much to people at the moment. They're doing it so tough. They absolutely are. So, I mean, one solution possibly is that we uh, all uh, learn how to uh, live in submarines because I think we're spending <laughs> a lot of money on submarines. And can we put some uh, low-cost housing inside those submarines? I'm not sure. That is one answer. <laughs> but it is, it's ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. And the promises were never going to be kept. There's no doubt about that. And uh, they just throw promises out like they're confetti. But um, <laughs> look, one solution for me, and obviously I've, I'm not struggling, and you know that, Erin, I'm not struggling, but I do love my air fryer. And an air fryer can change your life. I, I am really cut down on the amount of hot chips that I'm buying because I'm producing my own chips at home. So, And you can get an air fryer really cheap at places like Kmart and Big W. So you, you, I would actually, recommend an air fryer. You actually can. I'm, I'm waiting for Media Watch to do a segment on the bloke who bought a blockhouse talking about cost of living pressures. But the air fryer tip is brilliant.